So the next question is from Dave. Should I be thinking about the wider world when writing my songs outside of the personal realm? When you talk about, should I be thinking about the wider world when writing my songs outside of the personal realm or experience, there's an interesting thing that a lot of times the more personal you get and more detail oriented and more you dive into these personal experiences, that's what becomes universal. It is a counterintuitive thing to a lot of songwriters. You, that's why so many songs are written, I think, um, by novice songwriters with very general language because they want it to be um, something that can be applied to anyone or any situation. The words being used get very generalized. But the truth is when you dive into these details, you start to paint a picture that is uh, very universal in its specificity oddly enough. So like if you, if you talked about, let's say you had a song where you were talking about a, a pickup truck or something and you described the colors of it and um, uh, the sounds and all that kind of stuff, you might be thinking, well, you know, nobody can relate to that kind of ride except for me and whoever else has a car like this, but we've all seen those trucks and we have our own pictures in our head. So it's easy for us to to visualize that when you get descriptive about it and talk about it in that way, as opposed to if you would have just said, you know, my truck or my car. So, you know, think about that in, in the broader context of your song as well. Get into those specific details and bring us into your personal story so that we can relate to it because so many human experiences are relatable. Even if the uh, specifics of each individual, individual one don't seem like they are, will, as the audience, be able to relate them to other things that have happened to us. So uh, as a general rule, I would say yes, write as specific um, and unique and personally meaningful to you as you can. And then if you're doing that well, that will be relatable to other people. So I think that's your approach for that. Okay, so hopefully that information helps you out. If you're looking for a lot more ways to improve your songwriting, I've got a couple of cheat sheets for you that you can download by tapping on the screen here. And if you have not yet subscribed to this YouTube channel to stay updated on our latest songwriting videos, you can tap our logo on the screen for that. And I'll also have links for that stuff below this video. So thank you for checking this out, and I'll talk to you in the next one.